I cannot believe the Easter Bunny is about to be showing up so soon, mm -hmm. but it sounds like we might have to get through some showers before we celebrate that day. Yes, not only showers, Cynthia, but very warm temperatures. We'll talk about those rain chances here in just a second, but already we're not even at noon yet. We are talking about temps in the 70s and 80s along Interstate 30. It's 80 in Lindale, already 81 degrees at the Tyler Pounds Airport. A little further down to the south, Cherokee County. I've got 80 in Jacksonville. We decreased that by a degree for the Cherokee County Airport. It's 77 right now in Rusk, Texas. 77 Groveton. It's 77 in Trinity. 77. That is the current reading in Kennard. And this does not help us. Not only is it very warm, well, it's very humid as well. Over 70 70% humidity values and look at deep east Texas right now. We're at about a 90% humidity in Nacogdoches, 84% in Lufkin. So it's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy. It's going to be humid today and we will be approaching record high temperatures. We're talking about highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s, especially across our western counties. But we do have some relief tonight with low temperatures falling for the most part in the 60s. Now let's talk about those rain chances. This is the first of at least three rain chances. Chances I have in the forecast and we could have some storms that misbehave, but the best chance of that happening is going to be anywhere from San Antonio up into Austin near Colleen. Maybe Temple might get in on that level two risk here in East Texas. We just have parts of the area that are under that marginal risk, which is just a one on a scale of one to five. So let's break this down for you. Satellite and radar. You can see this dry line that has taken shape just to the west of Dallas. That will be the trigger point for a few showers and thunderstorms. We're going to be very lucky if we see rain here in East Texas. Here's what on Futurecast through 11 12 o'clock. We're just dealing with that cloud cover. Pretty strong southwesterly winds as well. The best chance of rain today is going to be across deep East Texas anywhere between three and four o'clock to maybe 10 o'clock this evening. And then we do get a break in the rain. That's what the radar is going to look like at 10. We're going to be partly cloudy. There will be a few breaks in the clouds. Heading into tomorrow morning, we've got clouds in the area and then round number two starts to arrive, especially in deep east Texas. That's seven o'clock tomorrow night. We keep it that rain chance in the forecast or at least five o'clock Friday evening and we get another break throughout the day on Friday. We could see a few peaks of sunshine, but as we go into the weekend round number three, that will provide us with the best chance of rain and we could have some heavy rain, especially along and north of I-20. This is Saturday afternoon at about three o'clock and we continue to track those rain chances through through at least early Sunday morning. So how does that set us up for our seven day forecast? Well, round number one of rain to our southwest today, upper 80s for today, much cooler as a cold front arrives tomorrow, 70s and then 60s Friday and Saturday, leftover showers on Sunday and looking ahead to next week, we're going to be pretty cool. Temperatures are only going to be in the 60s. We'll keep those same rain chances for deep east Texas, but a little warmer for Friday and Saturday. Cynthia.